right, uh, Matt McDonough, after your uh, Olympic trial here at Carver Hawkeye, uh, talk about the crowd today, man. How was it? It was great. You know, this is the environment we get to wrestle in every time we come out on the mat. Um, you know, aside from it being the Carver Hawkeye Arena, it's just a great venue with a lot of freaking screaming loud fans, you know, every time you step on the mat. And that, that's something that's got to get you fired up. How was the weight cut for you? You know, it, it was uh, it was an experience. I wouldn't say that there were any problems, um, major problems. It, you know, it, it came relatively easy, but the first time you ever make a weight, you, uh, you know, you got to adjust and you get a feel for it. And, you know, I got a feel for it. Um, it's just something that you have to refine each time. I don't think it, you know, would be a problem if I didn't grow any and wanted to stay at 55. But, you know, that's the future. And right now I'm, I'm worried about here and now. And what will we see at 125 for your senior year for Iowa? Everyone's going to ask that. I can't tell you to answer that question until next season. I don't think about that stuff. I think about getting better at wrestling. Wait, 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 you know. When the coaches tell me I gotta make a decision, then I make a decision. But until then, it's it's really just about, you know, building yourself in the wrestling room each and every day. Uh, Simmons, the match with Simmons, uh, he, he has a size advantage on everyone. Did you feel like he had a size advantage on you? Absolutely not. I don't think there was any size advantage. I don't think a single person had a size advantage on me today. I felt as strong as everyone. It's just a matter of, you know, wrestling in my match and, and not wrestling to someone else's match. And, you know, maybe I, uh, I, I kind of fell into a few other people's styles a little too much today. I got I to gotta wrestle, you know, my way. I got to control everything and take what I want. They're coming right off an NCAA season, these guys are good. That's what Simmons does. That's what Obi Blanc does. That's their that's their craft. You've been wrestling riding time and all that. Do you think that took away from you know your style? You guys don't make excuses for anything. I never have heard you. Do you think that that hurt you a little bit though? At least, man. You know you have to adjust fast, but if anything, I see it as an advantage because I've been training you know in that environment for however many months. The only thing I got to do is, is learn how to. Uh, you know, learn learn some of the nuances of, of the freestyle, the changes. But there's definitely adjustments you have to make. I mean, there, there, there's adversity with everything, and there's definitely adversity coming off an NCAA season and going right into uh, you know the the biggest event in U.S. you know freestyle wrestling uh, up until the Olympic Games is the Olympic Trials, and you know uh, there's adversity getting yourself into that mind frame um, for the tournament, but, you know, you got to embrace it. You got to love it. All right, Matt, you got anything else for me? All right, hey, good luck moving forward. Love watching you wrestle college. Can't wait to see your career, uh, freestyle career. Thank you.